て覚めて悪夢よ息ができないこの世界で Turn into a d o r s o n What the heck happened to you, bro? The pain you took will be within you forever. All of us discuss this in the cafeteria. I'm impressed. I admit it. Pleasure working with you. <laughs> Wait for me, Himiko. Nothing yet. Sorry, Himiko. Good idea. We found Mondo. Has he ever been like that to you? Mind telling me what's wrong? What was that noise? I got you. What happened here? <laughs> ah, Gonta! Come back here! <laughs> Thanks for informing me. You mind helping us with this mystery? It'll be our pleasure to help. I'll help out. Sure thing, Kaito. Do you even hear yourself? You're crazy. Bro! Are you anywhere? All right, guys, listen up. We have a task for our two friends here. Whoa! What did he turn into? Huh? What the? Mondo? <laughs> uh, he was about to attack me. He ran off before you could even catch him? Why did I go crazy like that? There's. Feral effects in the pill? The bigger ones are when you go absolutely feral. Mondo! Ah. I'm glad that you're okay, Mondo. Pull yourself together, Mondo. Keep yourself in control. Keep it in control, goddammit! Ah! Hello? Anyone out there? Where the hell even am I? Oh no! Uh, huh? Whoa! Hey, Mondo! It's just me! Oh. Don't attack me or anything! Oh god. At night. I I, I, I... I didn't mean to! Oh, oh. Shit. Oh. Whoa! Uh, what? What the what the fuck is going on here? Keep it in control, goddammit! Ah! Ow! What? What was that? Ah! What? Was that from the vision? What? Huh? You told yourself to keep it in control. What? Who's there? Show yourself! You told yourself to keep it in control, didn't you? Huh? <laughs> That's what I thought. Ah! Whoa, whoa, ah! 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 <sighs> Damn it. <sighs> Even if I take a nap, it still gets to me. Ugh. Fuck it. I'm just gonna tell someone about the secret form I trust the most. I still need to find this one thing for one of my magic tricks. It's probably inside one of my dorms somewhere. If you think that, I'll try and help you out with that, Himiko. Really? Thanks, Kaito. Hey, Kaito! <laughs> ah! Oh, shit. Sorry about that, Kaito. Thought you would have seen me walking toward you. <laughs> it's fine, Mondo. It was my fault for not looking earlier. How are you feeling after that chest that you had? Feeling a lot better. Just woke up from a nap was all. That's good, pal. Anyway, what did you come out here for? Oh, right. I, uh, need to say something. So you're saying I'll know what you're talking about? Yeah. Since last night was really chaotic, I decided now was the best time to tell you and 
Someone I trust who wouldn't tell it to anyone else. Huh? You chose me out of all people? Why not Taka, though? He's like, your bro, isn't he? Yeah, but I don't know if he'll keep the secret between us. I'm gonna wait longer until I'll fully get this thing in control. Oh. Well, what's the secret you want to tell us? Uh... You know that Dorasune story I told you guys the other night? Yeah? What about it? Well, I, uh... <sighs> when Kokichi gave me that pill, Himiko thought something would happen to me. Not poison me or anything. I took it and waited until the next night. Then I, uh... Transformed into, uh... The door soon. What? Really? Yeah, really. I'm not bullshitting you guys. Himiko told you about it, right? Yeah. Wait, I thought Himiko told us that you got injected by a needle. Was... that not true? No, that was a lie. I was trying to make you guys not worried about me taking the pill. I also didn't want you guys to stop being friends with me if I took the pill and freaked out about me taking the pill. I get what you're saying, Mondo, but I'm still here for you, bud. I'm not gonna leave your side. You're like a, well, a sidekick to me nonetheless. Yeah, we won't leave your side for telling the truth. I'm actually glad that you told the truth to us, Mondo. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't know what happened that night. So I'm glad you told us this now. Well, shit. I... I didn't think you'd take it this way. I'm glad you understand, Kaito. No problem, pal. Oh, I forgot I had to do something with Shihiro and Tsumuki. I'll see you guys later. Bye. See you, Himiko. <sighs> I'm sure this day will go greater than last night. Oh, I forgot to ask this. Did you almost attack Nagito last night in that form? Attack Nagito last night in that form? Yeah, I did. But that was by accident. I didn't know what went over me. I just went furl for no reason. Oh, so you didn't have any control over your body when that happened? Yeah, it was almost like this one time my body gathered so much rage, I wanted to bash someone's head open with a dumbbell. <laughs> I know what you're thinking right now. Yeah, I did break the fourth wall of the original Tonganrampa storyline. But it was a metaphor, don't worry. I didn't mean it literally. Anyway, continue. <laughs> Damn, never thought I'd hear you say that. Well, I mean, what can I say, Kaito? People think I'm a badass who would do such a thing like that. That's true. <sighs> I'm just glad I got that secret off my chest. Yep. I'm really glad you told us, too. A secret, you say? Huh? Uh -huh. Hello. How are you fellows doing today? Correcchio? What are you doing? Oh, I just came by to see what you two were talking about. May I ask what? Uh, I don't know if I should say it to you. Um, I barely know your ass. No need to know me. I'll introduce myself. My name is Correcchio Shinguji, the ultimate anthropologist. Who might you be, sir, who is the same height as me? Name's Mondo Awada, ultimate biker gang leader. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Awada. Nice to fucking meet you, I guess. Now that we've met each other, may I ask a few questions to you in a little bit with another friend of mine? Uh, another friend? Uh, I... I guess. Don't be too shy, Mr. Awada. She's a great friend of mine, and we'll be happy to ask you a few questions about, uh, this situation you have. What exactly are you trying to get at, Cork? Are you trying to convince him that we were talking about something meant to be secret? Oh, no, no, no. Nothing like that at all. Just a few questions for friendship, that is. <sighs> for the best, I guess. What time should I meet you guys? I'd say, meet us at the back of the academy, at 8 p.m. sharp. Um... Deal. Good. See you at 8, Mr. Owada. See ya. You feeling alright, Mondo? I think... I might know what's going on with that guy, Kaito. 
What do you mean? I know that Keo guy isn't doing any good. When I trust a guy, I trust him by heart and soul. This guy wants to know my secret. Yeah, from the sound of it, kinda does sound like he's onto something with your secret. <laughs> yeah, you think? If you don't want to go to that thing he invited you to, you don't have to, Mondo. It's already too late, Kaito. I've already agreed to go there. I'll try the best I can to lie to him. If they buy it, I'm in the clear. If they don't, who knows what'll happen to me. For all I know, I might turn into butter for all I know. Isn't that your fear? Oh yeah, I have a major fear of butter. No doubt about that. Now I'm pretty sure Taka has that fear too. <laughs> you guys and your phobias. I'm sure nothing will happen to you, bud. Thanks for the support, Kaito. I really needed it. No problem at all, Mondo. Let's go outside with the others to see what they're up to. Good idea. You're going to visit Korikyo at 8 tonight? Yeah, I'm not sure why, but he wants to answer some questions with me. Sounds kind of sketchy, don't you think? Seems fishy to me. More fishy than some of Mew's inventions. Ugh. Yeah, I even suggested for him not to go if he doesn't want to. I would have taken that advice, but I already agreed to Keo's offer. What? M Mondo, w what if he does something sketchy to you? Like, I don't know, murder you? Hey, hey, calm down, Taka. That's the least of my concerns right now. The biggest thing I'm worried about, he's gonna ask what my secret is. You have a secret? Well, duh. Everyone has a secret. One of my secrets was that I used to think that I was a lion. <laughs> Get it? Because lion rhymes with my name. Leon the Lion? Are you mentally okay? Not in the slightest. Back on topic, though. I'm still worried about them knowing it. Is it about that form Himiko explained to us yesterday? Yes. I'm sure he isn't going to ask about your form, Mondo. Besides, he might only just ask some questions about your life in general or something. Though, who knows? Karekio is a strange guy, come to think of it. At least he isn't the one that thinks their name rhymes with Pensiata. <laughs> Pensiata. <laughs> That's funny to me, for some reason. Kibo's right. I think he just wants to ask some questions about your life in general. Probably. Now nah, I'll just have to see for myself once it hits 8 p.m. It's for the best. Hey guys. Huh? Chiaki! Hajime! What's up, you two? Eh, nothing much. We just came here to see what you guys were up to over here. I did hear that you guys couldn't find Mondo last night. Did you find him today? Oh, found him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chiaki. <laughs> Aside from that, we were just talking about how Korekia wanted to meet Mondo at 8 p.m. sharp to ask him questions. I still think he throws bad intentions for this, because of what happened last night. What? Korekiko wants to meet Mondo at 8 p.m.? Tonight? Didn't you say that Mondo turned into some... creature at night, Hajime? Yeah, doesn't that make it more skeptical that he wants to meet you at that time if you turn into a creature at night? That's what I don't get! I don't know why he wants to meet with me and his friend at that time specifically. It makes it obvious of him being suspicious. Or in this case, he's sus. What's worrying me the most is that what if he's going to murder him? Things like this always happen like this! Whoa, Taka, chill. I don't think he's going to get murdered. Sure, Kureki is a weird dude, but at least he isn't doing anything horrible to Mondo, if we're being honest here. I mean, if we're being sure, we all don't know what he's going to do. I have an idea. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you guys on my phone. And I'll be sure to call the others, too. And, if I possibly do turn into that form Himiko was talking about, I'll inform you guys on it too. Good thinking, Sounds man. like a plan! will do with us. Alright, I'll catch you guys later. Or tomorrow. Depending on how long this thing goes. Wait! Oh, shit. I lost my train of thought. What time is it? Right now, it's 7.58pm on my playcat travel. Oh, shit. I should be there by now. Uh, thanks for the advice, guys. Remember that plan I had in mind if I get in any situations? 
Okay. Be careful, bro. Okay. Okay. Come on, Mondo. Shit, 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 shit. Mondo! What's the rush, bud? What? Oh, Kokichi. I don't have time for this. I'm in a hurry. May I ask for what? I gotta be there at 8 p.m. I'll chat later. Uh, okay. I'll uh, catch you some other time. Hopefully he remembers to come here. Well, knowing him, he'll possibly be here soon before you know it. Besides, he is a biker, after all. That's true. Let's just see if he shows up or not. Kyo! Ah, Mr. Awada. You made it just in oh. time. Sorry, I didn't know that it was almost eight. Did I miss anything? You didn't miss anything just yet. We were just chatting for a little bit before you got here. Nothing too major. Indeed. What? Celeste? What, what is she doing here, Cork? She's a dear friend of mine, Mr. Owada. I did say that she was going to be here with me. No, 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 no. You said a friend of yours. You never said who the fuck that friend was. Well, she was that friend I was talking about. <sighs> All the people, why did it have to be her? All right, enough messing around. Is this the place I'll be chatting with you guys at? Oh, we aren't going to be standing out here and chatting. Please, step inside this place with us. Uh, all right. So, you and your friend were talking about a secret you had? Yeah, it's only a secret between us two. I don't think I want to explain it to you guys face to face. I know you, Celeste, but you, Cork, I barely met you back at the academy. No worries about telling your secrets, Mondo. We were just mentioning it, was all. Yes, no need to take the cat out of the bag. If you say so. Anyway, on with our little questionnaire. We'll be giving you at least seven questions. Four of them are basic questions, you know, off the top of your head, and three of them being personal questions you don't like answering much. <laughs> Easy enough for me. So there's no challenge I have to do? If I get a question wrong or something? Well, there is one obstacle you'd have to face. Huh? Not only you'll be getting some answers wrong, which is fine, because it won't matter. I'll tell if you're lying about something about your personal well-being. The last question will be a surprise to you. Oh, so it's not like one of those shock collar challenges then. You'll see, Mr. Awada. Now, let's start with the questions. Do you know anyone by the name of Kokichi Oma, by any chance? Uh, yeah. I actually ran into him not too long ago while I was in a hurry to get here. He's an interesting character, I must say. Personality's all over the place. You meet him, he's friendly. Next thing you know, he's smirky. And then he's back to friendly, you know? Interesting. Did Kokichi give you a small, light blue pill? Uh... How the hell are they getting all this information? I can't make up a lie. It's best if I tell the truth to them. Or wait. I could say possibly. Or not really, as a response. I'll see what that does. Well, I rarely talk to Kokichi, and he's slower down on my list of friends, so... Not really. Hmm... Okay. Questionable today, aren't we? Here's a better question. Did you take a small light blue pill by any chance? Uh... No? Ah, fuck! Oh, seems like you told a lie already. This far into the questionnaire, and we already caught a lie. What the hell, man? That wasn't a lie! That was a true answer! Too bad. What comes out, stays out. So now we know he took a small light blue pill. Do you have anything at all you'd like to ask him, Celeste? Hmm... I have one question. When you took that pill, did you have any minor headaches after an hour passed? I... uh... I... I, I, I don't know. It's been like two days since I took that pill. I forgot if I had a minor headache. 
Unlike the tiny one you have back out there, it was minor and meant that the pill was working on you. Oh, wait, 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 I changed my answer! Ah! Fuck! Well, at least he changed his answer last minute, but wasn't saved fast enough. Are you trying to get me to tell you my whole goddamn life story, motherfucker? We don't have a button with us, Mr. Owada. The caller's doing it for us, so we aren't causing any harm at all. Exactly. Next question. While you were talking with Kaito, did you ever mention the random headache you had that night? No! I... I didn't mention that headache I had out there with him today. It was only that secret, and that secret only! Alright. How about this? Does the secret involve something called a daughter soon? Ah, uh, please. I, I don't want to answer that one. How do you even know what the hell those creatures are? It's just a simple question, Mondo. Answer it the best way you can. It had nothing to do with that creature, okay? Huh. Second to last answer was a lie, I'm assuming. Well then, this brings us to our last question now. Would you like to ask it, Kurekio? Oh no. I think you should ask it, Miss Celestia. Thank you, Kurekio. Now then, are you ready for this last question, Mondo? If this involves any Dora soon questions, I'm not answering. Is the moon full tonight? Huh? huh? Is the moon full tonight, Mr. Owada? I... I don't know! Why don't you go look for yourself? Well, I asked the question, so why don't you look for yourself? <laughs> Yes, it's full. Can I get this stupid fucking thing off me now? Certainly. God damn it, that was awful. If I ever talk to you guys again, I recommend not to use that fucking collar on me. Ah! Ah! Gah! Ow! So, the legends are true. Dorasune is becoming real. Thought I wouldn't see the day. We'll keep you down in this hole for experiments. See you later, Mr. Owada. Uh, hey! You're not getting away with this, motherfucker! Uh, huh? Uh, whoa! Uh, damn it! They got me stuck down here. This is the worst shit I've ever stepped into. Oh! Guys! That idea I had! They'll help me get the hell out of here! So that's why Mondo is in here with us? Yeah. He's been with Kurekio at the moment. We're just hoping that he's alright with them. Knowing Mondo, he'd probably be okay. He's a pretty strong guy out of all of us, you know? Hey, I'm strong too, Rentaro. I work out every day. But Haito, isn't Mondo more muscular than you? Uh... I, I I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Gary on then. Oh, I don't want today to end up like last night. Last night was a mess. Hey, cheer up, you guys. It'll be all right. Mondo will be back here before you know it. Uh, it's past 8:30 p.m. though. You'd think these questions he's answering to Kodakiko wouldn't be this long. Yeah, he's probably questioning Mondo on why they're the same height. Didn't Mondo make a plan, saying that if anything goes wrong, he'd call one of us? Yeah, I hope he's not into any trouble. Huh? Could that be Mondo? What's up? Chiaki, I want you to put me on speakerphone. I want them to hear this. Alright. Mondo, are you on the other line? Taka! Oh, I'm glad I can hear your voice on the other line! You okay over there, pal? You sound really panicked. So, uh, Keo was asking me the questions, along with Celeste, and they put this shock collar on me if I told a lie. And uh, now I'm in this room, all by myself. I, I... I don't want them doing whatever they're going to do to me. I just need your guys' help. They did all of that to you? Yeah, and I'll say this. The shock collar hurts like hell. Probably worse than those headaches I keep getting. 
Are you in that form Himiko was talking about? Yeah. The last question they asked me was if the moon was full. Then they pushed me into this room. Should we get more of the others to help out? Uh, I guess that could work. They could help us hold Keo and Celeste back if they ever come back to this location I'm at. You're still at the back of the academy, right? Of course I'm in the back of the academy, Leon! I'm stuck inside that one building with a manhole inside of it, which is where I am right now! That could only mean one thing. We need to rescue Mondo! No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> Don't worry, Mondo! We're coming to save you! Yeah! Thanks, guys. I'll see you guys when you get the chance. Alright, mission to save Mondo is in progress. Who's gonna get who? I'll see if I can get Togami and Kyoko with us. I'll get Tina and Gonta. Chihiro and I will call for help from Monokuma and the others. That will give us more time to help Mondo if things get out of hand. And if possible, get them to help us out even. I'll get Sharky Boy and Sonya. I'll see if I can invite Gundam along with our journey too. I'll invite Nagito over to help us. I'm surprised he's missed out on this event happening right now. I'll help you guys with getting Nagito. No worries. And for me, I'll help Taka and Chihiro out with Monokuma and the other cubs to give us more time. Sounds like a great idea, Kaito! Yeah! Alright! Operation Saving Mondo is a go! Let's go, team! For Mondo! Again! Mondo was captured by Karekio and Celeste? Huh. I know they don't trust me enough to help them out with this. Hmm... I got it! I'll offer them my help. That'll be my helping deed for gaining their trust. Don't worry, Mondo. I'll help you get out of that place in no time. If it'll kill me or not, I'm gonna live until I die. Nothing will stop this gremlin from helping a friend in need. I'm on my way!